Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the IR drop workflow um, that's available inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So the IR drop analysis is a power integrity uh, simulation workflow that is used to identify potential voltage drop issues in the interconnect that makes up the power delivery network. So the way we would do this is we can do this from the analyze menu, workflow manager. Um, if we look at the, the, the available workflows, there'll be different videos showing the different workflows. This one's gonna cover the IR drop workflow. Um, I'm basically going to use a power tree file and I need to go and browse for a power tree file. This is something that you would have to get generated um, from your signal integrity engineer. It's not something that you can actually generate directly um, from within this section here. So I've got a, a PWT file here that I'm just going to open. That then loads the power tree file. I've got some analysis options where I can look at things like the topology extraction, the default sync properties and the current threshold. Um, in this example, we're going to use an IPC uh, threshold of 10 degrees as a temperature rise. Um, and we'll leave the other defaults as they are. So we'll click OK. We can then start the analysis. So this is very license, license dependent. Um, this is currently going to check out a, a Sigurdia Aurora license um, to run this simulation. If you haven't got the Sigurdia Aurora license, you would need your, your SI engineer to be able to do this for you. And once he's done that, you then have the ability to just load the analysis. So there's load an existing analysis option here. So once complete, obviously the start analysis then gets enabled. We then get the ability to look at IR drop, voltage or current density. Um, we've got an IR drop table and an IR drop vision and we've got some different visions. So let's have a quick look at the IR drop table. So here you'll see a list of all the nets that we've got associated. So you can kind of work through the nets that you're interested in, find out what's going on. Um, if we actually change the vision layer and we'll go and look at, um, in this example, we're going to look at VCC1. And then what we'll do is we will uh, look at just uh, maybe the three volt three. We turn on the IR drop vision. We then get the a, a visual representation of the different the different voltages on this specific layer. So you can see, obviously, I've got a few issues here that I might need to go and solve. Um, and we can obviously toggle this from different layer types. So we can look at the different voltages on each individual layer and work your way through the design. 